We can't see our own potential until we do the things that scare us. That's what I learned today. I spent January deciding what to write. February, brainstorming and outlining the project I chose. Today is an exciting day. I'm not exactly feeling my best, but I decided that today I would start the first draft of this project. So that's what I'm about to do. I kind of woke up feeling like screaming. I guess that means this is one of my anxious days. <laughs> Always fun. But yeah, I'm hoping that once I start writing and once I get into the story, I'll feel better. So let's just start. I believe there were a few things that contributed to me being able to write 5000 words in one day and I wanted to share them with you. One, I had an outline. As I said, I spent February planning out this story. That meant not only brainstorming ideas, but structuring the plot to the scene level. I guess this story just has been wanting to be written for a really long time and I guess that's the beauty of an outline I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up at this pace but I'm really happy with this beginning and I'm obviously in a much better mood so let's just keep going Two, I didn't self-edit instead I wrote notes to myself of things that would have to be changed but I didn't go back to change them or stopped to brainstorm solutions. Three, I recorded my whole process, not only on camera, but on my journal as well. I kept myself accountable. Four, Pomodoro. Writing in short bursts. However, the five minute break was never enough for me, because after I finished each writing session, my brain was still going over the scene and I spent some more time writing notes to myself and recording my progress. So my breaks were of about 15 minutes. I noticed that I'm making a lot of promises to the reader right at the beginning which I mean I think it's really good to make promises to your reader in the beginning to you know make them excited about the story and make them curious but 
some of these promises I hadn't planned on making and so I keep having to write notes to myself to later develop those promises or delete them altogether because yeah if you make a promise you have to fulfill it in the story if you don't the readers won't be satisfied but yeah I just surprised myself and it made me excited to write and as you can see I wrote really fast much faster than I thought I would so yeah I'm really happy with this beginning let's keep writing to them. I feel like my hands have been crying to write for a very long time now and they're just having fun. I really can't believe I'm writing this many words so fast and without having to think much about it. I do believe that about 99% of these words are gonna have to be rewritten but um really having fun getting to know this story and I feel like I'm getting a lot of insights into the characters and the plot that you know just outlining doesn't give you that you need to really put the words down on paper to know your story next I need to write the catalyst and this is a scene that is very important obviously and I actually don't know exactly how it happens I know what needs to happen but I don't know how and I feel like if I don't know what's gonna happen maybe I'm not gonna write as fast as I've been writing until now because the first scenes are usually the ones that are more clear in my mind but those scenes are over and this is where things start getting a bit more blurry because I didn't outline for that long. So I was considering maybe I should try to brainstorm how things should happen, but I've decided against it because I think wanting to outline more than I've already done uh, is kind of like procrastinating writing and it will make me lose the steam. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and write it down. If I can't write the scene down, I can write notes to myself and uh, yeah, just move through this part. Yeah, that's it. Let's write. 6. I didn't force myself to write parts of the scenes that I didn't feel like writing. First, if you're not interested in writing a scene, maybe you should rethink that scene. Second, if I wanted to keep writing, I couldn't let myself slow down. exhausted not completely I still have a few sprints in me but yeah I've come to realize that by the end of a sprint I'm just ready to move on to the next scene even if I didn't finish the current scene I feel like right now I'm just trying to understand I'm guessing the details yeah and once I have that then I'm just ready to move on so so far, 
I've been able to get that from each sprint for each scene and so this last scene I didn't finish it but I'm not going to because yeah because I already know enough about it to be able to move on so that's what I'm gonna do next scene let's go draft um, it's a mess the more I wrote the messier it got but at the same time it answered so many questions that I had about this story I'm ready to take a longer break and then I'm gonna work on another story as you saw I'm still going to brainstorm some stuff but it's gonna be fun it's mostly like Pinterest fun and uh, yeah, scribbling down ideas. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. And uh, then I still have work later today. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself. I don't think I could do this every day just because of the amount of time it took me. So I started at around maybe like 10 a.m. and right now it's almost 5 p.m. so even though it took me seven pomodoros I had some breaks in between and they weren't all five minute breaks sometimes they were 15 I have to have lunch blah blah um, but yeah I'm just really proud of myself and I think I don't think I'm sure I'm gonna stick with this pomodoro technique because yeah I think it's really helpful and uh, I just really like flying through the first draft. My favorite part of writing is actually rewriting and editing. So yeah, getting this first draft done is the priority. Then I can go back and you know start. I don't know what that was. Start going through it and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a break now. I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you so much for all of you who watched this far. And thank you so much for being here with me on my journey and on this channel. And please share your journey with me. Let me know if you like drafting more than revising and if you like fast drafting or slow drafting and, you know, editing along the way. I used to enjoy editing along the way, but I don't anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for being here and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.